Y'all want to know what I put in my coffee? Creamer and collagen peptides because I've got the knees of a 70 year old man. Don't really taste that good, but that's not the point. Yay. Anyways, thank you for joining me on today's video. So once again, thank you very much for joining me today to answer a question that I have in my magical notebook. And that question is, what the hey is a guinea pig? And this question was asked by me um, because I like this topic and I have some experience in it. Uh, so we're going to learn some things today. As always, with these kind of videos, I have links to the information I got and stuff. So if you want to learn more, that will be there. So in terms of a very basic description, if you get nothing else from this video, guinea pigs are basically a form of rodent that tend to live best in small groups. And what they typically like to eat is really anything plant related. Guinea pigs throughout history have been used for a variety of purposes since we've essentially like domesticated them. Um, they've been used as pets, they've been used as livestock, they've been used for health and medical things, they've been used for like religious practices, status symbols, they've been used for a lot of stuff in general. And how I would actually like to go about discussing guinea pigs is starting by their actual history and how we actually know guinea pigs today is not through them being from Guinea or them being actual pigs like the name is guinea pig but neither of those things are true like guinea pigs themselves originated from South America not Guinea like this is one of those examples of stupid names we give to things that are not technically true like Swiss rolls those are not from Switzerland sorry to break that to you Furthermore, guinea pigs are not actually pigs. Like I mentioned earlier, they're rodents, or they're more closely related to rodents, specifically in the cavia genus. Um, and if you see pictures of it and like kind of what they've evolved from, it makes sense. Like they're not pigs. They mainly get that because of what they look like, but that's not what they actually are. And in terms of like an official kind of timeline, we started to domesticate guinea pigs around like 5000 BC. As I mentioned, they were kind of spread out throughout the world um, because as humans, we like to have exotic pets, which was basically what guinea pigs were kind of seen as, um, especially by more like European countries. Like I think it was Queen Elizabeth had guinea pigs. So, you know, pretty epic. And as I mentioned recently, in the present day, what we typically use them for mainly ranges from either like as a food source, because in certain countries, certain people eat them. Um, some people use guinea pigs for selective breeding to kind of get certain characteristics or traits about guinea pigs, because as I'll mention later, there's many different kinds. Um, and then in some countries, they still use guinea pigs for like health and medical practices. Uh, so there's various uses for the guinea pig even today. Now for this section of the video, what I would like to talk about is the actual details of the guinea pig, uh, starting with kind of like the health and medical stuff and like terminology, uh, because for female guinea pigs, those are called sows. For male guinea pigs, they're called boars, which I guess kind of goes along with the whole pig thing, because with some pigs, they're called boars, you know, the ones with the spooky horns. Anyways, that's what they're called. And then if you have a baby guinea pig, they're called pups, which I think is really cute. And typically with guinea pigs, how long they'll last ranges around like five years. Sometimes they can live longer. Sometimes it's around three to four years. But the usual kind of in the middle timeline for a guinea pig is about five years. If you're considering getting into the whole selective breeding or just like having baby guinea pigs process, whenever a guinea pig is pregnant, typically they'll have around one to six baby guinea pigs. And it typically takes around like 65 days for them to be born, which really isn't that long. It's about like two months, which is pretty quick. Furthermore, if you're considering getting a guinea pig as like a pet, the best way to do so, I would say, if you're able to, is to get multiple because they are indeed social animals. Um, so you got to be careful about how many you're getting, how big the cage is or whatever you got. Um, and then also it's kind of important to keep in mind whether like if you have multiple male guinea pigs with each other and like some female guinea pigs um, because that can kind of determine the like social interactions between them um, but anyways they're social animals which is pretty cool in terms of the diet of the guinea pig a lot of it tends to revolve around grass alfalfa like hay so a lot of vegetation stuff additionally they eat their own poop 
For some reason, like, bunnies and guinea pigs tend to do that, so if you're, like, new to owning a guinea pig and it's eating that, that's okay. Furthermore, guinea pigs like a lot of fruits and veggies. They don't supply themselves with their own vitamin C, so you kind of got to do that if you own one, um, but they also like that kind of stuff. Just make sure, like, if you're new to feeding them something, make sure it's not poisonous. Um, but that's kind of, they eat a lot of healthy stuff. That's really all you got to know. Along the lines of like talking about food, guinea pigs, as I've mentioned, are rodents. So one thing to keep in mind with them is that their top and bottom teeth continually grow. So one thing you typically want to have in your guinea pig cage or whatever, you know, something with guinea pigs, is something they can chew or kind of like eat on that helps shave their teeth down. Um, because, you know, you don't want to have like oversized or like overlapping chompers. Um, but that's just an interesting fact. Their teeth grow all the time, pretty much. I'm glad ours don't because that'd be kind of scary. Another thing to keep in mind with guinea pigs is their like noises and behaviors. Um, one thing that's kind of unique, it's not necessarily exclusive to guinea pigs, is something we call popcorning where they'll jump and hop around and as far as from my own experience and knowledge, that's a good thing and it's also really cute but they'll just like hop around. They can't really jump super high uh, but when they do hop around, it's really cute. They do also tend to like grunt a lot and they'll kind of like wee a lot, which is like, you know, just them making noises either for attention or to display aggression or unhappiness or anxiety or happiness. And I'll have links so you can kind of figure out what noises your guinea pigs are making. Um, but usually it's pretty obvious and very distinct noises. So they're pretty expressive. Another thing I wanted to mention when learning about guinea pigs is that there are many different breeds of guinea pigs. Um, like for example, you'll have the American guinea pig, but then you'll also have a variation which is like the American satin guinea pig. Um, furthermore, there's a lot of different kinds. Like there's the Baldwin, there's the Cornet, there's the Himalayan, there's like the Merino, there's a Peruvian, Peruvian satin guinea pig. Um, Rex, um, there's a silky and silky satin guinea pig, um, skinny guinea pigs, they're hairless guinea pigs by the way, if you somehow like that, like aesthetic, there's an option for you. Um, but I'm gonna hopefully put a list of the different kinds and they're all really cute. Um, a like a majority of the variations of guinea pigs kind of fall into like, I would say two categories. You either have like the long haired guinea pigs, like ones that have like really flowy hair guinea pigs or kind of the short regular looking guinea pigs. Um, but there's, there's quite a lot. There's around like 13 different kinds of guinea pigs. Um, and that kind of changes on whether or not they're regular or satin guinea pigs. I didn't know that was the thing, but it is. In terms of my own general opinion about guinea pigs, I think they're really cute and they're really fun. Um, that was my first kind of like big pet that I owned when I was younger. I've had two guinea pigs, um, Butterscotch and Bandit, both very cute, both very nice and forgiving pets because they're kind of my first big pets. Butterscotch, I believe, was a white crested guinea pig in terms of the breed. I don't feel like his crest was that white, but he definitely had one of those little indents on his head, which I thought was cute. Very nice guinea pig. Very cute. They have really cool feet. I didn't really mention this, but I think one of the unique things about guinea pigs is they have like three toes on the back and four in the front, something like that. Their feet kind of look weird, but they're also cool. Like I mentioned already, they make a lot of really cute noises and they run around a lot and you can get a lot of different things for them. Like their cage, usually what you want to do is get something that's long and big if you have the room for it. You don't want to get like a wire mesh cage, you kind of want to get one that has a flat and solid bottom. Um, you want to get really comfortable bedding for them, there's lots of different types of that. Um, you usually want to get something they can hide in and kind of sleep in, like one of those little clear igloo things, that's what I had. Um, you don't necessarily want to get one of those ball things that they can run around in, they're kind of too big for that. Um, but there's lots of different things for guinea pigs that you can get. But yeah, in general, if you're considering getting a guinea pig as like your first pet or just a pet in general, I'd say go for it. They're very cute, very small, they're very easy to manage in terms of like actually taking care of them and stuff. Um, so I definitely say go for it. And once again, I'll have the links to the information I found in the description. So if you want to learn more about them, feel free to do so. Um, but that is basically it. So thank you very much for watching. Bye.